I want to take you to Badayu in Uttar Pradesh first. The nation was shocked when it saw pictures of two young girls, both teenagers, 14 and 15, hanging from a tree. Headlines today has access to a report prepared by the district administration in Badayu. The two sisters were gang raped and killed earlier this week. The report says the girls were intimidated. The assaulters, the attackers used homemade weapons, gang raped them, killed them and hanged them. The post-mortem report clearly says the girls were raped, they were asphyxiated. One of the policemen involved, Sarvesh Yadav, has been named in this report. He is accused of shielding the main accused in this case. The report also says the policeman on duty told the girl's father to wait for two hours and then go look for them. The two policemen are among the five who have been charged with rape and murder. One of the fathers, in fact, he mentioned that when he went to the police station, the police told him to wait and later said, go to that tree, your daughter's bodies are hanging from there. दो घंटे बाद मिल जाएंगे तो मैंने कहा दो घंटे हो गए अब लड़की मेरी दिला दो तो कि अभी नहीं मिलेंगी तेरी लड़की कल कहीं देखना पेड़ पे टंगी हुई है सिपाही ने उसी सिपाही ने आके यहाँ देख के बताना बताया जाके घर पे मेरे अगी वो पेड़ पे टंगी हुई है The report has also given a timeline of how this entire brutal gang rape and murder unfolded it was eight at night on tuesday when the girls they left their house they were confronted by three of these accused pappu avdesh and urvesh they're all brothers they were taken away at gunpoint the family and friends they searched for these girls they went to the local police station around 11 tuesday night the police refused to file a case they abused and humiliated the parents and friends what's more the parents were told that Wait for a couple of hours, your girls will return home. That warning in fact turned out to be true. The girls were later found hanging from a mango tree around 3 Wednesday morning. Me, constable and her constable, they were involved in a crime. That's why they were charged. Sir, uh, hey, the post-mortem report says that they, there was a gang rape and murder. Sir, in fact, cause of death, has it been clarified? Sir, how the two girls died? Pardon? Sir, how the two girls died? Were they strangled and then hung? They, because anti-mortem hanging. Asphyxia due to anti-mortem hanging. Cause of death is anti asphyxia due to anti-mortem hanging. Sir, you have arrested one of them, uh, Sarvesh Yadav. Sir, will uh, uh, Sarvesh Yadav be also arrested and under what grounds he will be arrested in this case? He was arrested only because of he was conniving with the criminals. Okay. Uh, uh, sir, also uh, the police today is moving an application for DNA test of the accused. Yeah. We have submitted a report before the Honorable Court to seek the permission for DNA sampling and the permission is being granted. Now the sample of both the accused will be taken and they will be matched with the victim uh, Also sir, uh, uh, by when, uh, are the operations still on? By when are you expecting the arrest of the other two accused? One more we, 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 we have arrested out of uh, three out of five. Two is left. A calming operation is already done and I think they will be arrested very soon, very soon. Pappu, I came to the field. When I came to the field, I was taking a girl and I was taking a girl. I was taking a girl and 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 I was taking a girl. तो लड़का ये पप्पू ने पकड़ लिया था मैंने चोर से मारी थी तो मैंने पहचान लिया था ये पप्पू है तो हमने पप्पू पकड़ लिया था लड़की को लेके बे तीनों तीनों साथी उसके चले गए तो उसने जैसे मैंने पकड़ा पप्पू के लिए हाथा पाई हुई थी हाथा पाई होने के बाद तब ये फिर उसने तमचल कर लिया था तो and joining me now for more on this story is headline today's Ankit Tyagi from Badayu. Also joining us is headline today's Amir Haq, who's tracking the latest developments in Lucknow, talking to the Uttar Pradesh government. Let me come to you first, Ankit. You're at ground zero. 
explain this to us explain this to us how did this entire incident transpire and why is it that the police did nothing when the girl's parents went and registered a complaint Gaurav, it's a, it's a, there is no other word to describe it. It has been completely shocking uh, the way this in entire incident took place. I am, uh, before I start and tell you the details, I am standing right uh, uh, in the background is the tree uh, on which the girls were found hanging. And I still, uh, it gives me, you know, shiver down my spine that there were two bodies hanging just a few hours back. Uh, on the night of 27, these girls had gone out uh, in, in the evening. Uh, it, this is a backward area of Uttar Pradesh. Not there is no electricity. Uh, toilets are uh, not in the houses. So the girls, as in many uh, villages of Uttar Pradesh, had gone out. Uh, uh, at, uh, at, uh, and uh, at that very time, uh, they went missing. The parents uh, searched for them in the village. Then uh, one of the, the eyewitnesses that we spoke to, Baburam, who was speaking, he said he saw... Uh, those girls being taken by Papu Yadav along with his two brothers and one more uh, unknown assailant. When he tried to confront them, uh, they, uh, they, uh, there was a, uh, a scuffle between them. A okay. gun was pointed at him and then he ran away. All of them then went to the police station where Sarvesh Yadav along with another constable were on duty. Both of them very clearly from the time uh, where they went there said, nothing has happened, your daughters will come back. And two hours later, they were the ones who informed they will be fine hanging on a tree and exactly that is what has happened. Now the police has arrested uh, two of uh, uh, the main accused, Papu Yadav and his brother Abdesh. Constable Sarvesh has also been arrested. Two are still absconding but uh, you know reporting from the ground the sense that I get is that uh, it is difficult uh, if you are not from a certain community especially under the rule of the Samajwadi party. There are few people those who are being uh, yes. saved. The police yes. uh, goes out of their way to save them. All the others, especially if you are from shocking. the lower strata, absolutely life is shocking and disgusting to say the least. These girls are Dalits. These girls were Dalits. It's a Yadav village, and is that why the police did nothing? This is nothing short of look at the arrogance of the criminals in this case. They not only gang raped the girls, they murdered the girls, and then they hanged them from the nearest tree inside that village what was the message that these arrogant criminals were sending and that is what is extremely chilling amir the message is we can do what we want because we come from a certain community because we come from a certain caste and nobody in this administration will take action against us and that is exactly what happened amir Haq. Well, obviously, and that is why, Gaurav, uh, uh, the entire state government is at stake. You know, the entire reputation of the state government is, uh, is at stake with this uh, recent incident. And, in fact, this incident has emerged as the face of lawless UP in the last three days. Uh, in fact, uh, Akhilesh Yadav uh, was, in fact, uh, uh, today as well as yesterday, was confronted uh, by reporters and media men asking similar questions. But somehow, although uh, there are no questions on the intentions of the state government, but, yes, there will be uh, questions raised on the efficiency of the state government because the chief minister here has taken a, you know, a, a string of meetings with senior police officials, administrative officials here in Lucknow. He's, uh, he's given them a task that uh, you know, none of the complaints that uh, okay. uh, come in towards the police station are to be taken okay. non seriously. Police officials will have to be proactive uh, when there are issues being raised by commoners. But the point is that there is no change that is being seen on the and ground. The shocking where aspect, it should yeah, Amir, be seen. is it because of the surname, the surname of these criminals, because they are Yadavs, no action is taken against them in Akhilesh Yadav and Mulayam Singh Yadav's Uttar Pradesh. That is the question that Mulayam Singh Yadav and his son, the Chief Minister Akhilesh Yadav, who came to power on the issue of governance, good governance, they need to answer this question tonight. Another shocker from Mulayam Singh Yadav's stronghold, that's Itawa where the mother of a rape survivor was brutally beaten by the father of the rape accused. This incident took place on Monday. Now, according to police reports, the accused who lives in the same neighborhood as the victim, he entered the rape survivor's house, raped the daughter, he was caught, he was arrested, he was handed over to the police, and then to pressure her to withdraw the case, he beat up her mother. Kiran Rijuju is Minister of State for Home, uh, in the Ministry of Home Affairs in Delhi. Uh, but I want to get back to our top focus story. That man on your television screen, Akhilesh Yadav, the young Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh, 
he has a lot of explaining to do and he has a lot of action to take because his reputation and the reputation of his party is in tatters amir haq what is akhilesh yadav doing what has been his response in this case because his father's response we have seen in the past in rape cases he says boys will be boys rape will happen well definitely and that is the flip part of it all in fact akhilesh yadav uh, has actually you know pulled up senior police officers here in lucknow and in fact ever since uh, uh, in the in fact in the post election period uh, he has actually taken some really swift action against uh, uh, administrative officials here he suspended uh, several uh, district magistrates also uh, district uh, uh, senior superintendent of police uh, but somehow this message has not percolated down uh, to the policemen who are there on the because that is what has been seen in most of these cases that have been reported recently not just in badayun but also in etawa yes. uh, another samajwadi party stronghold and also the recent uh, lok sabha constituency of uh, uh, azamgarh uh, from where uh, mulayam singh yadav has won uh, this time as well uh, there was a gang rape case that is uh, that has been reported recently in which four uh, of these uh, men from dominant uh, community there in azamgarh uh, have gang raped another uh, minor victim so they okay. clearly that message that has been sent down from the chief minister's chair has not come down to the level of policemen who are there on the ground to implement the law okay keep tracking that story i will come back to you for more